uh, the syntax was very clunky. And then Mark Jones invade, invented the do notation uh, that he had in his uh, well, prefer cursor to hugs, or called gopher. And um, yeah, and that sort of, yes, this is a nicer way. I mean, the, the IO before that was terrible. Uh, I, I can tell you about it. So, so the basic one was that a program is a function from responses to requests. And the weird thing is that the program, uh, say, the, the, these are both lazy lists, lazy lists of, of uh, responses coming in and requests going out. Mm -hmm. So if you want to read a file in the output, you produce a request to read the file, and then an answer will appear in the input stream with the file contents. This is horrible. You need to keep these two <laughs> synchronized. You, you need, you can't look at the response before you've issued the request. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to make mistakes. So, I mean, we did it like this. So Monad was like, oh yes, this is the way you can do it. Um, I, I don't know what the original question was. <laughs> did, did your thoughts on laziness? Oh yes. Um, has it changed? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not that religious anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm atheist, huh? It, but, but I mean, I think uh, laziness gives you the nicest algebraic properties. If you want to do sort of reason about programs and, and do manipulate programs because they behave in a more mathematical way, but it's, it's also awkward in many ways. I mean. Uh, you you can't get stack traces in any easy way. You have to bend over backwards to get stack traces, for instance. And it's it's harder to control resource usage. I mean, especially memory. 